It's a different yellow brick road, but it's a very good road. <laughs> That's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Rocket Man, the film biopic about Elton John. This film covers pretty much his childhood, and I would say maybe the first 10 to 15 years of his career, I might be incorrect with that. But least to say, this movie's a hell of a lot better than Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm gonna basically compare this movie to that film because it's a hell of a lot better than this movie. It helps that the person who the film is being based off of is still alive to factually tell the real thing. Unlike you, you piece of shit, Brian May. Now, something that most of you may recognize is just kind of how flamboyant the film is. And what I mean by that is just how sometimes it literally moves into a fantasy. People are flying or he's swimming at the bottom of a pool and singing with a childhood version of his former self or there's these magical entities happening all around him kind of bringing you into the magic of the moment. This movie feels almost like it's a Baz Luhrmann film but it's not directed by him. It's like he had all these concepts and these notes but they didn't want him to direct it because while he can do spectacle and dazzle he's, he's a little bit weak on character sometimes or just goes way over the top and makes it ridiculous. So they had all these notes and then he just kind of gave it to someone else who happened to be Dexter Fletcher. The whole time I was wondering, why do I recognize that name? It's Soap from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. I forgot this guy directed Eddie the Eagle. But back to the movie, Tanner Edgerton has proven himself so, so much in his career. He started off really well in Kingsman, and sure, some of the movies he's done since then have been kind of odd and off, like that Robin Hood movie he made, but this is his best role ever. He fully embodies the personality, the lavish lifestyle, and the demons that Elton John himself went through. This kid also can sing. He can sing so goddamn well that whatever talk show he was on, he was singing one of Elton's songs while Elton was playing the piano in front of him. And I can't imagine the amount of pressure that he had singing one of this guy's great rock songs in front of him while he's playing the piano. So he's got to match Elton's tunes and all that other stuff. But this kid really proves it. It's probably one of the better examples of an actor doing a biopic, a music biopic in this particular sense, because a lot of them don't sing sometimes. I loved Rami Malek as Freddie Mercury. It's probably one of the only few things I like about that movie, but he didn't even really fully sing. This is all Tanner. Speaking of songs, by the way, now, Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah, you could sing along to the tunes because they were basic composites of the songs. There was very little variation. It was basically like listening to a Greatest Hits album. This film, Rocket Man, however, actually tries to vary the songs. They're not sung like they are on the finished product albums. They actually have a little bit of organic and new feels to them. For instance, I'm Still Standing starts off really, really slowly when it's first introduced into the film. And at first I was kind of like, why? I recognize it, oh, and then the lyrics start to flow. As odd as it was, every time they did it, it worked. And that's something that I feel, again, is kind of like a Baz Luhrmann thing where they just will spontaneously burst into song, but they work into the actual song itself. So I did enjoy that. I did like that aspect of this film. Does Dexter really give off that spectacle flair with it? Not as much as you would think. Admittedly, sometimes the scenes with the extravagancy and the fantasy, it's a little odd because they don't go all the way with it. They go as much as, you know, someone who doesn't have an incredibly weird and crazy Australian mind like Baz does. So sometimes you're feeling like maybe they could have done a little bit more of that. But aside from that, I feel the acting is fantastic. The music is really well done. The characters in this film, not only just Tanner and playing Elton, but also Jamie Bell is his friend Bernie. Their chemistry is so goddamn good in this movie. It's really cool to see Richard Madden as a dickwad in this film, as well as just seeing all these moments in Elton's life. Some of them they pass over quite quickly. For instance, his marriage to his wife is like that. I kind of wanted to little bit more into that aspect because that was obviously a kind of a conflicting moment of his life 
and they just kind of span over that in less than two minutes. So there are a few things that I kind of wish they had spent a little more time with. But aside from those aspects, for those little few narrative tweaks, Rocket Man's still a really good time. It's far, far goddamn better than Bohemian Rhapsody, and it deserves to at least get a nomination for Tannen. He, this is his Oscar nom movie for sure. Anyways, I'm gonna give Rocket Man a six out of seven. I very much enjoyed this movie. I would actually like to see it again. I would like to see just how they put some of these set pieces together because there's some pretty cool musical numbers. And I love how the movie starts too with him in the, in the devil's outfit. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.